another episode of Last Minute Laura. I'm Laura, and today I am going to get started on another natural dye experiment. This time, I am going to be using the first little harvest that I got at my parents' farm of blue Concord grapes. I picked all of the grapes from the bunches, and then I popped the skins off of each individual grape, and then I added them to a big glass container, filled it up with water, and then placed it outside. That was three days ago. So the first two days, it was really hot, really sunny, and the dye bath, which is what this is gonna be, got nice and warm. And then today, the third day, it's just kind of cooled off a little bit. So the glass is still pretty warm, and this is what I'm going to be using to get started with my dye bath. The exciting thing about this dye experiment, well, I mean, other than the ingredients, is the fact that I'm going to be dyeing another one of these thrifted tops. So we picked this up at our local thrift store for $4, and it is 100% linen. It's a white linen men's short sleeve dress shirt. It's got a cute little pocket with um, some hand embroidery kind of details on it, and the same detail is on the edge of the sleeves. So it's a super cute top. It looked really uh, great on Alex, honestly, in white. I really liked it, but we're not leaving it white. We're gonna change it to, hopefully, blue. So to get started, if you're doing the same kind of thing as me at home, you're gonna need something to dye Probably 100% linen would be your best bet if you're trying to do the same thing as me. You're also going to need something to dye your fabric with. I'm using Concord grapes. I'm using about, I would say, 8 to 10 cups of the skins only of grapes that are ripe. I'm also going to be using some alum today, and that's going to be my mordant, which will stick the blue dye onto the linen. And I'm also going to be using soda ash. So we made this from baking soda in the last video. I'll link that down below if you want to see how I made it. Um, but I'm going to be using soda ash to scour this linen top. You're also going to need cloths, napkins, paper towels, towels, something to clean up your mess because you're going to make a mess. You'll also need a colander and something like a sieve to strain it through. You could use cheesecloth. I'm just going to be using a white dishcloth today. And you'll need some rubber gloves. We are handling some acids and some bases and also just to keep your hands clean and dry, use gloves. So let's get started. Okay, so first things first, we want to scour the linen top. We have washed it once, so when we brought it home from the thrift store, I threw it in the wash and just washed it and dried it as normal, but now it's time to scour the shirt. So, to start a scouring bath, I've got a big pot of water on the stove. I'm going to turn it to a medium-high heat, and I'm going to dissolve about a half a cup of soda ash into that water. Next, I'm going to add the shirt to that big pot of water. That is gonna sit in there for probably two hours. I'm going to just simmer it. As soon as it comes up to a simmer, I'll turn the temperature down to probably a medium, medium low, and I'll just keep it simmering on the stove with that wood ash until the water will become murky and until it seems as though the linen fabric has released any waxes, oils, anything like that that's left in the fabric. While that's going on, I'm also going to start the dye bath on the stove. So even though this has been soaking for a couple of days outside, it's time to do some regular dyeing, heat dyeing. So I'm just going to take it, ugh, it's very heavy. I'm just going to take the grapes and the liquid that's in with them, and I'm going to add them to a big pot on the stove. I'm gonna put the heat on medium, as soon as it just hints that it's gonna simmer, I'm gonna back it right back down to low. I really don't want to put too much heat on these grapes right now. I wanna slowly pull out the color. Since we've got lots of time to do it, I wanna take my time with it because the shirt's gonna take like forever to scour and then for me to mordant. Not forever, but like a couple of hours. Thank you. 
and I'll just bring you in to show you what the grapes and what the shirt are looking like in their respective pots right now. After that, I am going to just leave them until the temperature comes up, like I said, and I'll show you what it's looking like when both of those pots come up to a simmer. Okay, so this is where we're at about half an hour in. The water is already a little bit murky. There's a chance that that is from whatever was in this dye pot previously. I did give it a good scrub before we started, but just so you're aware of the potential that that darkness might not be from the actual shirt. The bubbles, however, are coming from the shirt. For sure, those are coming off of this. So this is going to sit in here still for another hour and a half, probably. And let me show you the grapes. So the grapes are not simmering, but they are warm. There is some steam coming off of them, so they are right at the temperature that I want to keep them at, pretty much through this whole process. I just want them like this, hot, steaming, but not, um, not simmering. So I'm gonna come back in another half hour, check on them, see how they're looking by then. Okay, so it's been a couple of hours now. The grapes are looking like they've lost quite a bit of their color. It's like a little bit weird looking, kind of translucent. So I'm turning the heat off on the grapes now. I'm gonna let them cool all the way back down. And the linen shirt is now ready to come out of the scouring bath, get rinsed out, and then added to a pre-mordant bath. So I'm going to pre-mordant this linen shirt in some alum powder mixed with water, but first I have to rinse out the shirt, so I'm just gonna take you back while I do that. The shirt is back on the stove with the pre-mordant so the alum powder has been dissolved in the big pot of water and the shirt is back on the stove. I'm going to bring that up to a simmer and I'm going to let it simmer for one hour and then I'm going to turn the heat off and leave it overnight. The grapes, the heat is already off on the grapes and they are going to be left overnight and I'm going to come back tomorrow to get the actual dye job done. So I will see you tomorrow. Okay friends, so it's the next morning now. I've just turned the heat back on for the shirt and it is sitting in the alum mordant solution and then the heat I've turned back on for the grapes as well. I'm going to bring them both up to a simmer. I'm going to hold the shirt at a simmer for about an hour with the alum powder in there and the grapes, I'll just let them, I'll turn the heat right back off on them and then we're going to wash the mordant out of the shirt strain the grapes and get to dyeing. So that'll be the next step, but I'll show you what everything's looking like now. Okie dokie, it's been a bunch of time now, this shirt is ready to be dyed. It's been over an hour that it's been sitting and simmering like this. So I'm going to strain the grapes, which are just sitting here ready to be strained. The liquid is nice and dark and the grapes themselves are almost without any color left in them. It's just sort of like a translucent alien eyeball thing. So I'm gonna strain those out now. I've got my strainer with a dishcloth in it. I'm gonna put that in a container and I will zoom you out so you can see. one dip in the grape juice and it's already bright. And this is just to strain out the grape event. Okay, 
Okay, so now that the grape juice has been fully strained out and there are no little bits of weird alien eyeballs left, I'm going to add it back to the heat and I'm going to rinse out the remaining alum from the white dress shirt and then I'm going to add it to the dye bath. All right, shirt is ready. I can't wait to see what color it turns. I mean, it's gonna be blue, but I'm excited to see how bright blue because it's cotton and I've not done that yet. So I'm gonna add this to the dye bath now. I'm gonna return the heat to a medium until it comes just below a simmer and then I will reduce the heat to low for about an hour and then I'm going to turn the heat off and leave the shirt for all the way overnight until tomorrow. So let me bring you in to show you how the shirt is looking in the pot. Okie dokie, so here's the shirt after just a quick dip. It's like a very light purpley pink. It's not going to be this color, it's going to be blue, honest. I'm pretty much 100% sure it's going to be blue but we just have to sit it in here to soak up as much of that pigment as possible to hopefully get a nice bright blue shirt out of it. See you in a little while. Okay friends, so it's the next afternoon now and I kind of left the shirt just a long time, but I think it'll be worth it in the end. So I'm going to rinse out the shirt now um, so you can watch me do that. Okay, so before we rinse it out, look at the color. It's like such a bright pinky purple, but wait a sec. Okay, and this is what the shirt is looking like after. It's been rinsed out, and now I'm going to hang it up on a hanger and then let it hang out outside in a tree overnight. And then tomorrow we'll get some shots with Alex in his new blue, bluish gray shirt. See you tomorrow. And here it is. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little underwhelmed. I don't know if the grapes were ripe enough or if the linen was heated long enough, but the color is like, it's not everything I was hoping for. Obviously the sweater looks gorgeous on Alex, but I was hoping to get a few brighter blue hues, kind of like what I've gotten in the past on wool. I think I'll try again later in the season with riper grapes. I think that if I get darker grapes, it might end up better for me. I'm still hopeful. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you're new and hit the little bell notification icon. That way you'll get notified when I put out new videos which is every day. Friends, come here at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time every day, and there's something on the Last Minute Laura channel for you. So yeah, subscribe. <laughs> Anywho, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.